Hey, what's up? Today, we're going to be talking about one of the most influential economists of the 20th century, Joseph Schumpeter, and his theory of creative destruction. Schumpeter was an Austrian economist who lived in the first half of the 20th century. He's best known for his book Capitalism, Socialism, and Democracy, in which he introduced the concept of creative destruction. So, what is creative destruction? Well, it's the idea that economic progress doesn't happen in a straight line. Instead, it's a series of disruptive and revolutionary changes that Schumpeter called waves of creative destruction. These waves are driven by entrepreneurs who introduce new products, processes, and business models that disrupt and displace existing firms and industries. Schumpeter believed that creative destruction was essential for economic growth and innovation, as it leads to increased efficiency, productivity, and competition. He argued that without these disruptions, the economy would stagnate and fail to progress. However, creative destruction is not without its downsides. The process can lead to unemployment, social dislocation, and the destruction of established businesses and industries. Schumpeter acknowledged these negative consequences but believed that the benefits of creative destruction outweighed the costs. Schumpeter's theory of creative destruction remains influential in economics and business today. It's often used to explain the rapid changes and innovations that occur in modern economies. For example, think about the rise of the internet and how it has disrupted traditional industries like retail and entertainment. So, there you have it, guys. That's a brief overview of Joseph Schumpeter and his theory of creative destruction. I hope you found this video informative and interesting. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this.